yo what's going on my people welcome back to the live capital youtube channel where a life is for the taking now today i'm going to be talking with you guys of course about xdc of course about trade tech and exactly how it's going to be digitizing trade finance but before we do that let's go ahead and get into our update shall we so you already have bitcoin already in a way now my people i want you to understand do not get too euphoric right now while everybody is up and feeling a pump as you already know this is the last day of the uh, work week so understand that pretty much bitcoin is following the traditional market Markets. But over here on this side, you're going to be receiving 24 hours of blessing. So you haven't found this video by mistake. Now, right here, you have your Bitcoin right there at 21,000. Of course, we're going to be focusing on utility cryptos and as well talking about XDC, of course. But it is a beautiful thing, a beautiful day in the neighborhood when you have your XRP, as we do talk about really doing a nice little piz up, as we can see here. Of course, everybody wants it to get to a quarter. But when will that happen? We shall see. The suppression that they put on that thing is real. Moving forward, so we can just really talk about our ISO compliant crypto currencies you have your stellar right there on a very nice juicy pump your algorithm right there at 35 cents let's just move forward right there your hadera again i want you guys to understand how how well these prices are we haven't been to these kinds of levels since uh, a, a few years so understand we're getting to the weekend um but thank god it's friday you have your quant right there at 55 bucks 55 bucks <clears throat> excuse me moving forward your gala right here five cents let's just really get to our guy right here, our XDC. Of course, we're going to be talking in full detail about that today. Now, right here, want you guys to see this. We've been uh, just in our recent update. You want uh, we want to show you guys how the ICC has just really been changing things. And I want you guys to notice this: the ICC claims that we make business work for everyone, everywhere, every day. Really important stuff, obviously, for XDC holders. Now, this was really huge. That came out as well. Coinbase talking about they're going to be in introducing some changes to some local regulators. But of course, this is really looking like this statement is coming out from the Netherlands. Starting on June 27th, Coinbase is going to be introducing some changes. Specifically, when you send crypto outside of Coinbase, they're going to be requiring the name and the physical address of the recipient and the purpose of the transfer. Insidious stuff. That's what's going on in the Netherlands. But <laughs> we'll see what happens. As you guys can see here, of course, you are, you had this really this little breakdown. I thought it was interesting. First, you have the altcoins and XRPs there. The dumb in the manipulation sec case but still xrp is holding strong now the mimi coins dead gorilla coins dead and the iso is right there holding strong then you are you already got utility coins altcoins and all the tokens iso standing strong really good stuff bending them down now i want you guys to actually see a visual here of how the iota tangle freaking works look at this just understand and realize you know with the actual factual that you have a ISO crypto that can actually be feeless, one that's about Internet of Things, one that's actually in the Interledger protocol family and all the all the how long it's been available. As you guys can see and notice, this is a real and true thing. You know, we're getting into a new financial system and this is kind of a visual. But as well, at the same time, this is showing you all the tangle. OK, really interesting stuff. I'll actually leave you guys a link. But man, this is tripped out to me. So you understand that these these right here, this is, of course, called the tangle in the whole thing. So, again, wanted to show you guys that it gets it gets deep. Right. So moving forward right here, the uh, recent update that came out from Uphold that uh, Andre Casterman and uh, Martin Hansbach recently had. And it looks like the XDC network is, to, uh, you know, they were talking about a new token being issued over there on XDC. Of course, it being associated with the ITFA. Really good stuff to see coming out from Andre Casterman's involvement with Uphold. Another juicer coming out from the guy Dennis. Um, this is fantastic. As you guys can see here, this is an awesome XDC diagram. Just really putting it forward for you. This is for my XDC. DC holders, seriously, you got to remain bullish throughout these times. Your trade for next platform is going to be tokenizing securities on <laughs> for all trade finance assets or trade finance assets and, uh, you know, negotiables and capital markets and everything. We'll be talking about that. Of course, we have uh, breakdowns in our videos. If you are new to this channel, please don't hesitate to check out our library. You have right here your court, your Corda. I mean, another that's a huge, huge piece. Impel, we are so proud of them. I mean, just big shout out to all of these these networks, more so in these components that are really here with XDC. So um, as well, uh, if you guys don't know, Global ID, mostly the community wasn't feeling it, but the regulatory compliance framework is there. OK, so you have your sovereign ID that's going to be there. Your digital ID, this global ID is already there, coordinated with the XDC. 
Matrix DC Network. Okay, something to really think about. Now we're getting into our main piece right here, my people. This came out, of course, from the World Economic Forum. And I mean, our guy Ryan Google, man, of course, the uh, CEO over there at Trade Tech, you know, World Economic Forum has been feeling them. They're liking it. You know, of course, as you know, uh, digitizing trade finance is a huge, huge opportunity for institutional investors and for people like me and you. You know, you have to understand that XTC being utilized on with trade tech, the world's first NFT transaction. OK, so to really show you guys something, the trade finance gap, uh, what the uh, WEF is claiming is one point seven, one point seven trillion dollars. Now, that's that's between from all of the antiquation, all the all the antiquated processes, all the paper based processes. There is a gap of one point seven trillion dollars that is missing between small and medium enterprises that are affected. So, of course, digitizing all this, putting it all with DLT is important. Why? Because trade constitutes the backbone of every economy. So that's what I'm saying. If you're new to this channel, you'll understand that over here at Live Capital, you're really going to understand why you hold XDC or why you even have it. You know, you didn't find this channel by mistake. So 90 percent of global trade already requires financing. You have small and medium enterprises that account for mostly 90 percent of those companies. So it's really what what I really like that um, they put this one out there about banks and stuff and, and, and with Basel for and, and they're going to uh, show you guys just changes in models. But. The main problem is that banks are not able to provide all the corporate finance needed. So the, the regulations overseeing bank operations make it expensive in coming rules known as Basel IV further exasperate this trend, which honestly, that part gets deep. But banks are therefore increasingly interested in more of a originate and distribute model. OK, so moving forward, of course, with XDC owning XDC, they're expanding the access to trade finance. All right. It's a multi trillion dollar asset class based on the flow of physical goods and services. OK, so that's less susceptible to financial market volatility. That's the thing. And if you're new over here, you're understanding you're going to hear it. All right. If you're if you're if you're listening to me now, trade finance had something to do with it. OK, if you're looking at a phone, if you're looking, you know, um, at a screen, whatever it might be, trade finance most likely had something to do with it. So the default rates for trade finance products are generally low. Uh, but why is it that trade finance is the only asset class that doesn't get distributed from banks balance sheets because institutional investors have re access to repackaged mortgages, credit cards, car loans, all that stuff. So the lack of digitization and what automation automation, my people, this is what I'm talking about. Automation means acceleration. That's all technology is in it is in a, a accelerator. So we're all about digitization and automation so far made any so far that made any uh, distribution distribution effort uh, too costly uh, for for this low risk, low yield asset class. So, again, digitization and uh, workflow automation and pro programmatic repackaging can now reduce those uh, frictions. Really want to show you guys the key these three key points and really obviously digitizing trade finance. That's what XDC is going to be doing. But as well, I want you want you guys to see this. They want to improve technology literacy and collaboration. That's the point you have, you know, uh, trade with Africa, trade with Egypt, all of these things you have to deal with languages, jurisdictions, governments and everything. We need to improve technologies, uh, the literacy across the board. New technologies are revolutionizing trade, and that is particularly true in the trade finance field. The infrastructure now exists to enable in the end straight through processes of hundreds of thousands of instruments or if you will, um, these packages are tokenized assets, if you will, in a low cost way. Those instruments. OK, so moving forward right here, the first of such trade well, smart contracts. Here we go. Uh, blockchain technologies. STOs, security token offerings, can provide uh, efficient alternative smart contracts, allow any trade pair to settle tokens while eliminating any counterparty risk. Tokens also facilitate fractional ownership, as you guys already know, but that can truly de democratize democratize access to trade finance. So the first of such transactions has been successfully concluded with trade techs, distribution technology and the blockchain platform provided by what the XDC network, baby, the XDC network. Want to bring it right back over here so you can understand what we're talking about. Trade tech, trade tech, trade tech. OK, so moving forward right here, this 
this breakthrough taps uh, into uh, investors' appetite for those who are uh, interested in tokenized assets. Obviously, XDC, as you've been listening, has been has been there. And, it, and seriously, if you if you've been wondering how to get some XDC or are interested, they're about regulatory. You know, they're about uh, making sure everything goes right. Future regula- regulation must clearly distinguish between unregulated utility tokens and regulated securities tokens. That's the thing. We have utility tokens that are right. The XDC is fully. Um, within a regulatory bound. The security tokens offerings will only take off tokens and uh, all that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, make sure the trade finance is ESG uh, activity. So look, investors are increasingly looking at making their portfolio compatible and supportive for what? Environmental, social, and uh, social uh, governmental commitment. So again, uh, XDC is green, y'all. XDC is green. After all that talk, you'd really feel like maybe XRP is a thing, right? You maybe feel like that. You know, your name will be <laughs> remembered, but let's fix that. Let's fix it, huh? You know, let's really get into it. I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of these updates. But I'll see you later. Peace. Peace.